Hello, and welcome to another video with Bladderus. Here we are in week 8. We are playing the Baltimore Ravens. Should be a good game. They're 4-3, and three. we're 6-1. and one. If you missed last week's game, I definitely recommend looking it up on the, under the Madden 16 playlist. Uh, it would be Season two episodes or play game seven versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. I definitely recommend it. It was very well done. It was probably one of my favorite games to play all season. Hello everybody, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. Now I get to go it's against the, the famous against the Joe Texans. Flacco. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week eight matchup. The Ravens are back deep, waiting for the kick return. The best team in the AFC will be kicking off to get this game started. This game is underway. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. We'll see how my defense holds up this game. Is the man who runs the Ravens attack. Number five, quarterback Joe Flacco. line that knows how to look after its quarterback they have not only protected him they have freed him to lead this team down the field with a dangerous passing attack there we go that's the way to start it. game off Davis is going to jog out to the huddle now he is a definite threat to beat you with his arm. He's in the top 10 right now in the league when it comes to touchdown throws. I'll probably start the game off the same way y'all did. First down with a run. That's a gain of six. The only difference, the line was first six yards. Run, I think this offense would take all game long, Phil. Oh, would they ever? They would love this. this is, Everything's a competition. This is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing a good job, but also a solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. One for the home run. What an amazing effort by the receiver to strip him of the interception. Now here's a look at the Texans' but offense. Just feathered it too much to the left. The job done so far this season, ranking in the top ten in points scored per game. The Texans doing their part. To spread breast cancer awareness this month in the NFL. Plenty of pink on their uniforms today and throughout the stadium. Miller's tackled down at the 22. It's third down, Jim. You expect the team to throw the football. Miller's like, no, no, no. To get the first down. no you they can't touch this. Da, 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 da. Nice execution. Da, da, da. They get the first down. line up on defense they've given up a lot of passing yards this season so they'll need to try and keep the offense in check today second down and five here's the handle picked up a couple that time nice job that time by the defense they were ready for the run nowhere for the running back to go and they stop him for a short game the Ravens defense brings in an extra member of the secondary they'll go nickel Strong. 
Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. First and goal. It's Miller. Picks up about five. The Texans have really been dominant today on the offensive side. In the red zone now, they just take the football and they run it right at the defense and pick up solid yards. And the get runs it in for the touchdown. They've got a lead for themselves midway through the first, thanks to that touchdown. Yeah, it was a good drive that time. It had a little bit of everything in it, and it just gives you tremendous confidence as here we are halfway through the first quarter. Now you put the pressure on the other team. The Texans line up now for the point after. He made it. The Ravens' return team is ready. Hyde's running this one out. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Ravens' offense back on the field, trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball. The turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. Midway through the first. Here's the handoff out of the strong eye. Here's how the Texans defensive lineup. They've had a hard time all season getting off the field, giving up a ton of yardage. Flacco's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Well, it's third long early in the game as a quarterback, as an offense. You just be very careful in this situation and just try not to make a big mistake. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. Third and ten. Makes the catch in the open field. That's his first reception today. Boy, anytime you pick up a third long in the NFL, that is a confidence booster to all the players on the offensive side and also the head coach. And maybe most importantly, the offensive coordinator now, he can just let it go. And completion here as he was looking over the middle. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. They'll go ground. And it's Nassau with a big push up front to make the play. Well, the defense has got to be happy about this situation. Anytime early in the game you get an offense at third and long, you are looking to make a play and get things rolling on your side. Third down and 12. Looking at every option. Flacco misses his target that time. Incomplete. They've come out of the blocks fairly sluggishly. And this defense has taken full advantage, Phil. Yeah, the offense having a tough time. They did not have a good series that time. And the defense, you're right, took advantage of a sluggish offense and got off the field. That'll be a touchback. And the ball will be placed at the 20. The Ravens' defense had no answers on the last series. Jim, you are completely right there. They couldn't stop anything to run or the pass. So you got to go to the sideline and regroup and say, we, gotta, we need a better effort to stop that offense. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job on the offensive line. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. He's averaging five yards. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Miller's marked down at the 41.
This will be second down. The Ravens with a nickel look here on defense. Davis taking off. Has to get rid of it. Davis's mobility. Boy, gives him a chance to make a play, doesn't it, when you force him out of the pocket? But not even mm -hmm. complete mm -hmm. pass because mm -hmm. nobody's open. The quarter is about to end. One more play first. Trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. You got it going on. The Texans offense is still out there. I'm down the and I'm strong. Play. I'm down to get the friction on. Miller's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Y'all know that song. Please leave the name of it in the comment section. I do know that song. It's classic. There is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Davis running away from the pressure, airing it out. Texans lineup split backfield. Set up screen. Keeps his legs moving. Go, McKay, go. Into the open. Don't always have to throw the football pass to yard markers. That's another thing I hate to hear. This time, the offense throws it behind the yard markers on the screen pass. Good execution. They pick up a first down. The Texans now inside the 20. A week ago, they converted time and time again inside the red zone. Here we go. Yet. Yet. Now first and 10. Lamar Miller with the carry. Brought down by Duberville. 60 or 71 more yards. Smart runner. He knows Need situations it. in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Miller's taking the handoff. He's now over 60 yards rushing on the ground. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to run it across for the touchdown. Early in the second, and that touchdown puts a little more distance between these teams. It does, and you know what the, the one team that's behind going to decide to do? They're going to have to come out here and fight because it's pretty evident uh, the team that just scored, they got a lot of pride. They're playing hard, and this is going to be a tough day. And a touchback here. We'll bring the ball out to the 20. The Ravens heading back out there on offense, hoping to improve on their last possession, which ended rather quickly with a punt. Yeah, I think what they got to do, they got to come out and be a little more creative, get the defense off guard, make them think over there. That was too there. He will not get away. He's taken down for the sack. That's an awesome job by the outside linebacker. He gets a sack on the quarterback. And nowadays, you've got to do it all if you're an outside linebacker. You've got to be tough against the run. Cover receivers down the field, and yes, plays like that get to the corner. Over the middle, and incomplete that time. The Ravens are at the line, facing third down, which was not an issue for them last week, as they converted a number of times in crucial situations. From the gun, Flacco. Intercepted. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Miller's lined up in a single back formation. And at the 37, he'll be brought down. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. The Texans would love to run the ball like they have so far. Miller's taking the ball, and he's leading this team on the field right now. Well, he sure is. And I give him a lot of credit, but I'll also say this. The offensive line, anytime you see a running game go this well, you got to give a lot of credit to the old line. It's third down coming up. The Texans come to the line. First down marker is at the 32. Miller's taking it on 
on the screen. Breaks the tackle. Taking off. And that's a gain of 10. Jim, years ago, you never would have seen a screen pass on third down. But offenses are so varied now. You see it more and more. That was nice execution on that play. And they picked up a first down. First down at the 27. running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't fumble the football I promise you one thing you're gonna get more carries first down at the 15 Hills there to make the stop this is one good tackling defense they stay in good position at all times and we saw at that time when they stopped the play for a short game second down and seven they hand it off to him again Hills, the one who brings them to the ground. The Texans don't. Once they get inside the 20-yard line, you have to be able to run the football also. It can't be pass, pass, pass all the time. The offensive line comes through. Good solid run that time. Touchdown, Houston. Miller's second touchdown of the game. What a fine start to this game. Here we are late in the second quarter. They put up another touchdown, Phil. Well, they got a nice lead. They like to take this in at halftime. And if you're the coach of the team that's leading at halftime, you know what you tell your players? Hey, guys, good job. Let's keep that going. You pat them on the rear and tell them how good they are because, hey, this has been a clinic so far in the first half. They'll take it at the 20. The Ravens are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, though. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation, can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. The defensive line's all shifting to the right. They're going to try to find a way to pressure the quarterback. Two-minute warning. First down here. We're back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning in the first half. Flacco's going to take it from the gun. Takes the quarterback down. Quickly to the line. Flacco from the shotgun. And they deck him. Ah, not a good job by the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes in the first half. You got to get rid of the football. If nobody's open, just throw it away. That time, he loses yards by taking the sack. The Ravens take it from the 23. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The Texans call a timeout. They're first. The Ravens are going to punt this one back. Yeah, you know, Jim, the rule of thumb here is if you can read the name on the back of the jersey, don't block it. The Texans take it from the 28. Knocked down as he fires it. The Ravens lined up in the nickel. Second and 10. Miller's the receiver on the screen. One timeout remaining. Set up now at the 28-yard line. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Timmy 
Jernigan gets to the quarterback. Davis got it in the gun. Takes the hit. Throws. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties. Make one of them move and still throw it deep down the field. The Texans are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. And it's incomplete. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good. The football falls incomplete. The field goal attempt is good. It's good. And with that, we'll switch sides and take a breather. We've reached halftime here in Charm City. Back to Baltimore for the second half in just a few moments. The second half of this lopsided affair Google's is worth it to me. Underway. Got an extra three points out of it. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Texans come out to open up the second half, and they were hitting on all cylinders in the first half, Bill. Yeah, be smart here in the second half, Jim. When you start out, just find out what the defense is thinking, and once you get a, a feeling about what they're going to do, then you start taking some chances. Let's go. One. Second down and ten. Looking to go down the field here. The catch by Hopkins. Still the prettiest play in the NFL. The long arching pass down the field. And watching a speedy receiver run right under it. What a throw. What a catch. It's Miller. And it sucks there to meet him. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down. But it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. The defense gets a sack. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback, run over the tackle, or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you get the sack. The Texans will take the snap from the 40. Makes the catch in open space. Texans, touchdown. That is the 25th touchdown catch of his career. Phil, we talked at halftime about how this game could tighten up, but instead they just continue to dominate. Yeah, Jim, and you, listen, I want to give the offense credit for how they're playing out there and, and adding to the lead, but wow, on the defensive side, sooner or later you got to just man up tough enough and find a way to stop the opponent's offense. And a touchback. The Ravens talked things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call ground starters. Catch the defense by surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. The Texans' defense now is going to go nickel. Well, that's a good job of the linebackers moving around. And they get the sack. The Texans were hoping for a whole lot of sacks out of this young man when they drafted him in the first round, and that's number one. Oh, man, what a sight to see, to see your pass rusher get there and get that first sack. Boy, they're thinking, hey, this is going to be an outstanding year. I don't know about that, but I know he's off to a good start. Scanning the field. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. That's his first reception today. spot but that is a good job picking up the first down you're down big in the second half all you can do just keep picking up those first downs you hope it leads you to a score and then you play the game from there hand off and that's a two-yard game if you want to run the football with success you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage don't listen to the fans keep running it and it'll work Joe Platton will take it right from the center. Midway into the third. And it's Nata with a big push up. 
up front to make the play. How about that work by the defense that time? They are physical and they are fast. They tackle the runner for a loss on second down. Now they have a great situation, third and long. The Ravens have it at the 34. And Crabtree can't hold on that time. We still have more than a quarter to play here, Phil, but this defense shows no signs of wearing down. I think we're surprised by this, really. We didn't expect them to just dominate all day long, and so far, it has been total domination. He's going to try and return this one. As 12 on this play. The Texans seemingly had everything going early with the passing game, but it's been a big change since. And Davis has tried to adjust to the defense, but it hasn't worked out. Well, he's tried, but listen, there's nothing he can do about the offensive line. It's not been as sharp, but I'll tell you what, when the offensive line is not sharp, our quarterback's going to lose confidence. Brought down by Mosley. Texans have been awesome today on first down. That time, it's a nice play design. They throw the football, it picks up solid yards. Second and short, boy, that's what every offense likes to be in. Tackle's made, and that'll move the chains. The Texans have had a great rushing attack all game, Phil. Miller's been absolutely brilliant and almost impossible to bring down. What a dominating performance by this offense today. Just coming out and out hitting the defense, giving the running back opportunities, and they are taking advantage of it. He's up over 90 yards so far on the day. He just shows no signs of slowing down, does he, Jim? He's a top rusher in the NFL so far this year. And once again today, he is making it happen. Beautiful run for big yards. Back to the ground. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Davis is going to take the snap from the shotgun. And methodically, he just throws it away. Jim, I'll tell you this. Quarterbacks hate throwing the football away. You know why? Because it just goes down in the record books as an incompletion. So, good job that time. The QB looked. Nobody opened, and he finally gets rid of the football. Miller with the reception. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. That punt sets up the defense now in excellent position as they're able to down the football inside the 10. The Ravens stalled on their last drive, forced to punt. So now the offense comes back out onto the field. Yeah, they're coming back out. They lack confidence, and I understand why. They came out, couldn't get anything done. The defense was flying around, making the plays. Uh, they got to change the tempo of this game. Flacco's tackled, but earns a new set of downs. Well, that'll make you feel a little better. Finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. Look at the defensive line. Everybody's spreading out. I think they're going to try to pressure the quarterback. Room to work. That's a gain of 10. They're seeing something on the offensive side. Everybody's shifting to their left. Kobe Fleener hauls it in. The defense is going to play conservative in situations like this. They have a lead here in the fourth quarter. They'll give up those short throws. When you see linebackers moving around like this, that means they're probably going to blitz. The catch is made by Justin Forsett. at third down the Ravens need to get to the 42 for the first down 
Flacco will take it from the gun. Rashad Perriman has the football. The Ravens have looked stagnant on offense, which is surprising when you look at what they've done all season long, Phil. Yeah, it's hard to believe this is the same offense we've watched all year long, Jim. But listen, let's give the defense some credit. They have played hard and stopped this offense. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. A lot of things have to go wrong in any game were to be this one-sided, but you look at the matchup at running back, and it's certainly just one more thing that stands out. Yeah, when you run the football well, we all know you control the tempo of the game, and also you get in all the situations that favor your offense and your defense. That's why they're blowing the other team out. Running room. see a long run for a touchdown what you're going to look for is blocking downfield nice job by the uh, wide receivers and everybody hustling making a block and a long touchdown run the Texans ready to kick it away steps up and fields it at the two and the tackle is made right around the 26 yard line The Ravens didn't get much out of that last drive, so now here they come again on offense. I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more of an urgency to the offense this time. Well, I'll just say this to you, Jim Nance. I sure hope so. After that last drive, that was just too generic. Wasn't very well thought out, and they got to change what they're doing on the offensive side. Got to give that defense a little credit, though, don't you? Well, yeah, the defense did its job, but man, that was pretty easy. Now the defensive line is shifting to the right. The Ravens set the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. Black goes back in shotgun formation. Fleener has the catch. Fleener's met at the 44. That's reception number four for him. All you can do is your job, and that was a good job by the offense, picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. This will go incomplete. He was trying to find Crabtree. The Ravens continue to try to look for answers in the passing game. Flacco's been trying to battle through some tough spots, but he's been up and down today. That's what you have to do as a quarterback. You said the appropriate word, battle. The quarterback, keep battling, stay with it, and hope you can turn things around. Third down on the way. Crabtree is unable to bring that pass in, Jim. He just took his eyes off the football. And when you do that, it's usually going to result in a drop. And those things happen. It's not a perfect game. You've got to overcome adversity. I think this guy will do it. Next time it comes this way, he'll make the catch. puts it right on target and he makes the catch just short of the first down marker second and four he'll throw it over the middle Perriman's got the catch no one's going to get him now nobody was going to catch him there touchdown lack of hustle bad tackling you name it they allowed the short throw and catch Dang. All the way down the field for a score driving extra point is good The Texans ready to take that you gotta be down shitting the field. me. Three minutes and 31 seconds left. They're going to go for a freaking onside kick. They're down by 31 points. It's four touchdowns and, and a field goal. The hands team comes away with 
the football. Like, don't get a little too cocky because the, the fact that I went for a blitz and you know, ended up paying off on it. With a touchdown and really had the defense on its heels. Well, it's going to be hard to repeat what they just did because it looked so easy and it was well done by their offense. And I think when you talk about situations like this, it really comes down to one thing. Can the offensive line continue to dominate? The Texans are in front thanks to their quarterback. Davis, been unstoppable so far. He has been unstoppable, hadn't he? When your quarterback is hot, keep giving the football to him. They've done it, and he has rewarded the coaches. Miller's met at the 23. Here they come to the line at the 23. The Texans come out. Jumbo package on the field. Davis going to scramble. And he hauls it in. When you have a lead in the fourth quarter, you like these short completions because you pick up yards and that clock keeps moving. Time enough to squeeze in one more play before the two-minute warning here in the fourth. That picks up 11. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. Back now in this one, and time is running out here in the fourth quarter. First and goal. Zach Miller makes the catch. That's his fourth catch of the day. Well, the defense has been terrible all day. Here they are in this situation, down big, late in the game, about ready to give up another touchdown. Don't worry about the, the offense running up the score. Try to stop it. And the Texans in for the score. Living in the end zone. Touchdown number four. And again, we look at the drive summary, and we have to keep an eye on that record right, now. Now y'all are back to being 38 points down. In a single game. Well, if it's okay with you, I'm going to keep both of my eyes on it instead of that one single eye. But look, it is an He got me to want to go for an onside kick. Running the football and the way they're moving up and down the field, I think he might have a chance to get that record. But so far, fun to watch. And the hands <laughs> I almost got it. <laughs> as the onside kick attempt is thwarted. This next play coming from the 47-yard line. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First and ten. They're setting up screen. For set with the reception. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. The Ravens came away as tough luck losers last time out, and today has been a problem for them just to try to stay in this game, Phil. Yeah, it has been. And after last week's emotional loss, what you do as a coach, you come out in the next game and you change tactics to give your team confidence and get them going. They didn't do that. That's why they're having such a hard time here today. Third down and 13. defense steps up and makes the interception to clinch it for him today. Oh, they love this. Nothing like winning the game with the defensive play to ice everything. And I give the defense all the credit. Just a great play on their part. Well, Jim, they got the lead. There's not much time left. Run the football and this clock keep it moving and you can win the game. Take no chances. Don't jump off sides. Don't create a penalty and put two hands on the ball to the left side he's tackled beyond the markers it's a first down 
Tick, 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 tick. That's what we're trying to do. Make that clock keep running down. You got the offense out there. You got a big lead in the second half. Every first down you get shortens that football game. He's now over 50 yards rushing on the day. The Texans are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. And now they'll try over again on second. And Davis is going to take it from the gun. Looking to go deep. Complete to Hopkins. Hides in on the tackle. The Texans will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. And it's complete to Zach Miller. The offense stops the clock right away with a timeout. Stepping up to the three-yard line. Davis is set. Everybody emptied out for this snap. Scrambling out of the pocket. Well, that time the quarterback, nobody opened as he drops back. So he scrambles out of the pocket, and he lives to play another day. Helps the offense. Instead of taking the sack, throws the football away. Second and goal from the three. It, well, I'll tell you, it's getting ugly out here. Phil, there's certainly not a whole lot of sportsmanship down on the field right now. Yeah, this is getting to a point where even I'm yes, that's feel definitely bad called running it up. Maybe it is time to call oh. off the, uh, the proverbial dog and let this game just finish a little bit more mercifully. I definitely enjoy running it up every once in a while. It doesn't happen too often, so. over there's nothing they can do now to pull this one out Phil yeah he, he, listen it, it's very tough to even get the courage or the energy to finish this game off in a situation like this because it's so disappointing and I, I say to them don't take the pass is intercepted nothing like being a little greedy in this league <laughs> all right the four interceptions that's what I like to see to all right well I hope you all enjoyed this video please leave me a like and a subscribe and thanks so much for watching